Welcome back to Bally Spring, episode 9, Selling Firewood and Sowing Wheat. With me, this gaming man. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here on Bally Spring. I'm just about causing carnage on the roads, as normal. Um, hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, it's snowing here on Bally Springs. We've just had a phone call from the local pub. They're running out of firewood, so we need to go and take some firewood to them. Um, the firewood uh, processor has been chugging away. We've got loads, loads going on at that. Loads of firewood all being stored up at the uh, at the farm. We also would like to get some planting done today as well. I'd like to get some wheat in if we can. Does he let me go or not? No. Way we go. Police are always active around here. I don't know. Probably trying to arrest people like me driving around in this tractor. <laughs> Right, so yeah, off we go down to the uh, the pub. It's just down here on the left-hand side. Hope you're all well, as I've said before. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Um, it's been growing quite well over the last few weeks, actually. I thought it wasn't wasn't growing that well, and then all of a sudden we've had a massive influx of in, of uh, subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, welcome along. If you're old to the channel. Welcome along. <laughs> um, I went to Lama last week, which I've posted a few short videos up if you're interested or if you've not seen them yet. I suggest you go and check those out. Obviously after this video, because you don't want to miss the trials and tribulations of me here on the farm, do you? Alright, I've not been to this sale point before, so we'll have to see where it is. I think it's... oh, there it is. Let's get this over the top. Hopefully, yeah, it's been sold. Awesome. Seven thousand one hundred and eighty. That's that's pretty good. That is it's more than I expected. Ooh, got a man trying to kill himself on the road there. Oh dear, I've had a bit of a smash here. Alright, then you're going now, are <laughs> What is going on? Alright, alright, beeping me, honestly. We'll go back this way. <laughs> Hopefully, it might not cause so much carnage. One thing I actually learned during the Lama, Lama um, trip, actually, is that they're saying now with tractor weights that you should run a tractor with a weight on even if you don't have any load on the back apparently it's to do with um, the new generation tyre wear it's because they're designed to run with loads and they'll wear out on the edges a lot quicker if you don't actually run with a tractor weight on the front I think it's like anything up to like 500 kilos up to a thousand kilos depending on the tyre and stuff I thought that's quite interesting interesting fact because with the old style tyres and stuff, and when I used to drive a tractor, like on the roads and stuff, you're always told up, told if you weren't, if you didn't have an implement on the back, you weren't supposed to run away. Well, that's what I was always told, because the weight was there to counterbalance the weight on the back, obviously. But yeah, it's, I found that quite, quite an interesting little. Um, little thing so I'm going to try and implement some of that as you can see with the weight on the front here trying to be a bit more realistic I suppose not that I can get much more well I could get a lot more realistic but I'm not that um, you know you know what I'm trying to say part this here leave that there yeah so got some more firewood here so we'll sell that at another point um, also we've got some strawberries from the last episode when we put the greenhouses in and we haven't got any pallets of apples yet but we have got apples being produced excuse me we have got apples being produced um, not not loads but 
yeah 500 litres on each tree just over 500 litres each tree so that's all ghibli good to so, say so this is still going um, it's chugging away nicely so what I'll do is I'll leave that trailer there I might go and sell some more milk actually we'll go and see where we can sell some more milk um, I think I've got some water in the bowels or so I'll have to empty that out facing to the right yeah so I found that kind of interesting about the um, tractor weight let me know in the comment section if you've heard that before um, be quite kind of interested to know what your thoughts of it all are but yeah when I was like first trained to drive tracks on the road I mean it's like quite a few years ago now and um, yeah, it's one of the things that we were told is, oh, you don't run a weight if you're not running an implement on the back. But they're saying, obviously, now, like I say, even without a weight, even without any weight on the back, you should always run a weight on the front. But, yeah, I've really enjoyed the Lama Show. I saw... I missed the um, Farming Simulator League actually emptying it doesn't look like it's emptying it's doing something it's not emptying into there I lost my trail of thought now yeah I didn't actually get to see any of the farming simulator league um, but I did see um, various people playing uh, farming simulator doing little, little competitions amongst the, the audience and stuff which is quite entertaining to watch um, I really enjoyed it um, let me know in the comment section below if, if you attended it or even if you didn't attend to it or you're planning to attend to the next one because I kind of I really enjoyed it there was a lot of new say a lot of new brands there was a lot of brands that hadn't been for a couple of years by the sounds of it that were there um, Mikhail were there, they had a massive stand, Fent were there, they also had a massive stand with uh, a golden golden Fent tractor. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. Like I say, I've got a few shorts on the um, on the uh, on the channel, so if you go and check those out after the video, I don't want you me don't want you leaving the video just yet. Um, go and check them out. Um, there's a great one of the Vicon um, baler what, we, what we've actually got on the farm actually here it's the premium edition um, but it's got the sides open so you can see all the um, gears and everything underneath the, the covers it looks amazing it's like it's a crazy amount of gears and chains and whatnot that are underneath it it's 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 crazy I won't fancy having to change those chains or <laughs> try and calibrate it even if, if they have, have to be sort of calibrated like timed or something be a nightmare changing a, <laughs> changing a bearing in one of the cogs having to take all the chains off so anyway heading off down with our, with our milk on the back it's got a little bit of wear on this um, tub, on this um, bowser already look on the back and it's snowing as well so with the weight situation I'm gonna have to get another weight I think for the um, for the Lamborghini I think hope I didn't hit him bit too late if I did that's the uh, the truck that went past obviously I do like this map Wee. oh no <laughs> just uh, yeah just ignore that that didn't happen right didn't happen 
So yeah, I've also been looking around on the farm as well, like, because some of our fields, the yield's not going to be great for some of our crops that we're growing. I kind of accepted that. But I don't know how the um, precision farming works, if the soil has any bearing effect on the, the yields that you get. So part of me wants to do some potatoes because we've got sandy loam, loam sa sandy loam, the, what have we got? Let's have a quick look. Loamy sand we've got. So if you look on, I'll just have a quick check, check, show you actually before we like go any further. Our yields are sort of like 80% on some of them. Um, get off of that. No, I didn't mean to reset that. Yeah, there you go. Um, our expected yields sort of down, down to 80%. So on the old farming simulator with the precision farming, loamy sand was quite good for root crops. So like I said on the last episode or a couple of episodes previous, I think we're going to put some root crops into either one of these fields or two of them. So maybe potato. Oh God, it's <laughs> me waffling on's made the snow fall even further. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's my much my thought. I might go and get some, um, do some potatoes. And potatoes isn't until. I think next month at the earliest, I think. Uh, we're end of January. We can't plant any crops actually until February. So I missed that one out. Maybe we'll, we will jump ahead a day or a month, get into February. I think that's what we'll probably go and do. We'll head back to the farm gonna time lapse to another day because we can't do any any planting at the moment excuse me whoa whoa no 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 Oh my god. Yeah, I think we might go in for a coffee now. Now it's snowing so bad. And my driving's just got worse. Yeah, I think we're going to lapse into the next day, I think. There's not a lot else we can do. We could sell a little bit more wood, I guess, but we'll leave that for now. And I want to get some, start getting some of my crops in. So here we are, it's the 1st of February, the snow has now melted and we've got some jobs to do. We've got to go and get the um, beacons have been left on the on the class, we've got to switch them off, get a flat battery. I think I'm going to use the, the uh, Lamborghini for this, I'm going to get our wheat in. Right, so let's get let's reverse this up into the uh, Alpeggio, Alpego, whatever you want to call it. These were actually the uh, Lama they were.
need to change the grass over the grass right millet alfalfa mustard linseed foil bean hops uh, what we got here wheat might need to put a bit more we might need to put a bit more grass seed in there I think it's the only crop we can actually sow at the moment I believe let's have a quick look uh, oh we got barley and we've got cotton we're not going to do cotton I think we'll do wheat I think What's the price on stuff? What's the price on firewood? Probably firewood's still pretty good. Wheat, six tears. It's obviously going down now. We're in February. I think, yeah, I think we'll do wheat. We'll definitely get wheat, and I think that's more of a higher number. Um, and we'll get the bag of seed. Nice that up. Let's top this up. So yeah, so if we do do root crops, we'll need to get some. Um, gonna need to get a a root crop root crop planter, obviously. Whether we hire one, let's have a quick look. See if there's anything on on the um, on the for sale. Oh, the nice vent there. nice as well yeah don't think any of that's going to be useful to us at the moment plant into this field so I'm going to need some um, going to need corn, not corn, I'm going to need some um, some hay and straw. We've still got quite a bit of straw, a bit of hay, sorry, I'll get there in a minute, in the, um, in storage, but it's, I think it's going to be straw that we're going to be short of. I don't know if the, um, If the canola will give us any straw on this map, some maps they do. It does. Just going to go and do a run round all the way around the map, all the way around the map, all the way around the field. I think. Also, this is going to need to be rolled in as well, so I'm going to have to get myself a roller before it gets to the growing stage, and I'm going to have to give it some feed as well. See. Missed a little bit there. I know you can't turn with the oh god, look at that. That's no good, is it? Get that off. Can we get that off? Not quite. Well, there you go. Now, how that stays. There you go. I think we might have uh, lost that bit of wood. Appears to have fallen through the map. It's all right though, unless it's in the hedge. It could be in the hedge. I'll have a look later. Yeah, I've taken a few of the low, the low branches on on this map off because they just get in the way of the tractor cab. It's something you do in real life, so. Bit of firewood, keeping the dog warm at night. 
and the Mrs. Happy. Yeah, I think I'll carry on doing this. Maybe we'll time lapse this. And I shall see you on the other side of the time lapse getting this done. So that's the field done. Um, yeah, we need to give it some nitrogen because it is bad. Um, yeah, potential yield isn't great at the moment. Isn't great. The expected yield isn't great at the moment. So we just need to give it some fertilising. We also need to give it a roll as well. Um, we could just open this up. don't know if we've got any fertilizer on in stock we might have a little bit maybe let's have a quick look over here um, round bale big bale no that's not a problem because I think I think we'll probably just use our sil uh, uh, silage our slurry I'll just fill that up while I'm here. here don't believe we've got any fertilizer we've we got a little bit we've got some in this bag and the, you know what let's do something a little bit different let's use our slurry 
we've got a fair bit of it I think we've got about 100,000 litres worth I think I think probably more maybe we've got loads of manure as well we could do with probably getting a um, come over and open that up how do we open that up circle I'm not sure what I'm doing with this if I'm honest De deactivate I'll just leave it on automatic I think leave the top of the crop sensor on hopefully it will identify what we're doing with it all get some muck get flinks and slurry In the fence and the gate. What am I like? What am I like? get away from that gate a little bit dog's going to get covered in slurry in a minute you don't get out the way <laughs> yeah dog covered in slurry it's not too bad actually it's looking all right Kind of a bit difficult to see where you've been when you're in cab. Well, no. Jumping out the cab. Never a good sign. The dog's going to get covered again. A lot of this going on around our way at the moment actually a lot of slurry and mucks a lot of slurry and muck spreading going on still need to give it another boost don't we we do have a little look with the help window you used to be able to give it like a double dose but I've got to just give it uh, this could go terribly wrong what I've just done now I think we've have we upped it up a bit. I don't know. Oh, 
the Oh dear, nitrogen level bad, bad. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know what's going on. So that's too low, isn't it? I'd say that's too low. I think it'd be a case of just like getting some feed, some fertilizer on it to help it along. I think that should give us a fertilizing state now, surely. Where's the fertilizer states then? It's not giving me a fertilizer state. I don't know. I don't know what's gone on there. That was has that got been taken out of the game or something? I'm confused. Let's reverse it up that way. It's going to be a lot easier. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with that. Whether that's a thing. Is that a thing? It seems to be getting our fertilizer states. do with a roller can not we that's what the other thing we need we'll nip up to the we'll nip up and get one actually I forgot to put the bloody what's his name the weight on that didn't I on the old um We'll go and buy another way as well. Have we got anything available to buy for such as roller? No. In the special buys. We haven't, so let's have a little look. Mm. This one's quite a good one because you can use this in the uh, silage pit but it's quite small um i think we'll just um, i think we might just go with the bigger one and just get it get it hired um, when can we pl start planting again we have to keep it on loan for a few few weeks a few months 
Yeah, we'll have to keep it on loan February into March. It's weird that you can't sow seed, sow grass seed this time of year because you believe me, you can. Go and get that. Then go and pick up this um, roller anyway. Um, and we're going to buy a weight as well. And go with this one. Reet. I'll head back down to the shop. And I shall see you back here shortly. That's, of course, if you don't want to come for the ride. I'm back driving through the gate. What they should actually implement to this game is being able to actually improve your soil. Because, like, even if you've got sandy loam and stuff, you can, like, improve or, or a clay soil. They, they do actually improve loams with, like, gypsum and st things like that. So you should be able to change your, sh your soil structure to a point I think that would be quite a nice addition to the game if they did that oh don't want to unload it uh, that's it that's that's my thoughts with it anyway it would be kind of good if you had like the, the ability to um, improve your soil structure That's my thoughts anyway with that. You know, they use things like gypsum and stuff like that to like improve soil structures. Various other bits and bobs they cut you can't oh god I'm catching why break the habit of a lifetime, eh? <laughs> So yeah, that'd be quite a, quite a good addition to the game, I think, being able to change the soil structures. We need to get some fuel in this, got half a tank at the moment. I do like this custom soil texture after you've rolled it. Looks cool. The thing about the weight that I've got on the front of the Lambo at the moment is they were actually at Lama, which is quite cool to go and actually see the, the weights and stuff. There was loads of companies with like different types of weights and stuff. Kind of interesting. But one thing I did notice is that John Deere weren't at the show. Um, the only th the only John Deere tractor that I saw was on the George Sanders. Um, it was a it was like a promotion for some um, baling twine. But yeah, John Deere weren't weren't that. I'm catching this on the blooming fence now. now. Yeah, John Deere weren't actually there. It kind of surprised me that they weren't there. But then it didn't. On the other hand, it didn't surprise me in a way because. I know when I was in the sports turf industry many years, they pulled up many years ago, they pulled out of some of the shows um, because it was becoming too expensive. And I guess because if you haven't got new machinery, you haven't got anything to necessarily to show. And I think that's what they were probably thinking that if, if we haven't got any new machinery, what's the point of turning up to the show? Because they're a big enough brand anyway, and people know what they've got to, to offer. That's probably what I can only put it down to, I guess. So yeah, I do like this tractor. <laughs> I 
I really do. It's such a smart little tractor. I, I wish they bring the uh, the bigger one into the game. That'd be really good if they brought that the bigger one in. This is the R6. This is bring the R7 or the R8. I'm sure they did an R7. Answers on a postcard if you recognise the number plate. So I'll carry on doing this. Go and check out the um, the videos from Lamb which I've taken. It's worthwhile having a little look. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. You guys have been awesome. I've been this gaming man. And until the next time, we shall see you soon.